Hey guys, it's Kenton Becker with Land Home Financial and I'm here again with another weekly video tip for you. Now, have you guys ever heard the saying, April showers bring May flowers? Well, sometimes when I hear sayings like that, I always wanna go back and look at what was the origin? What did they mean when they said that? And this origin is actually really old. It comes back to 1157 and it was authored by Thomas Tusser. He had a publication that he wrote called 100 Good Points of Husbandry. I don't know what that means, but in that he wrote, sweet April showers, do spring May flowers. So now we've taken that as, hey, when it rains in April, it's gonna bring flowers in May. So it's a good thing, right? But what I wanna give you is just five quick tips on how you can keep your home safe when it rains so much in April. Now, if you live up here in the Pacific Northwest, it does rain a lot. So here's five quick tips that you can do on your home. So the first one you can do is with your windows. Go around your windows and make sure that they're sealed off. Water can get in uh, through the cracks and through the seals of the window and can get in behind your walls and you don't wanna see that happen. So that's the first tip. The second tip is you can also go around your doors and reinforce the frames with screws or with extra framing that will help prevent water from leaking in under the door or around the door frame. Now, the third thing you can do, and this is a big one, especially after the windy winters that we have, you can go around your gutters and clean them out. Make sure that they're draining pop properly in the downspouts. And then the fourth thing is also make sure the water that goes down the downspouts, that it's redirected. You can add things like a French drain to your yard so the areas of your yard that pool up with water, uh, it'll actually drain it out and get it uh, out of your yard and out and away from your house. So that's another good thing that you can do. And then the fifth and final thing has to do with your chimney. Even if you don't use your fireplace or your chimney, that's just a hole up there. And if it's not properly ventilated and has a cap over it, that's just water that's going right into your house. So make sure to get a chimney specialist out there to check your chimney and make sure to do any repairs that need to be done to weatherproof your home. Okay, so those were five quick tips and kind of an origin of a, a saying that we use all the time. So hopefully you get something out of that. Make sure to go around your house and weatherproof it for our next April here uh, that we're gonna have a little bit of rain. So thanks so much for joining me this week. Have a great week.